doing here? And how did we ever get oh, permission we, to land? We are here in Byzantium and I this part of all. Finnish Parvatis. Here she is. Damn, this was stuttery. Parvatis Law the Quest. If I spit, think I Getting her together with July. There. You'll get in trouble. We need to get her no, some fancy clothes. And Byzantium at night looks cool as so. hell. Means everybody's gonna talk over each other already. Hey, BJ's. Love that spot. And uh, I'm probably gonna turn off my face cam for the talking parts. Remember that stranger I saw on the screen? It's not needed. Don't talk over each other. Don't talk over each other. Be gone. Me. There we go. There we go. Love talking incoming. What can I do for you, darling? Oh, my engineer is going on a date and she needs a fine outfit. You don't gotta be so forward about my reasons, Captain. Let me get a good look at you. Turn around, please, darling. My word, such muscular shoulders. You're a vision, dear. Uh, I am no such thing, ma'am. <laughs> Nonsense, you're absolutely lovely. Chin up now. I have just the thing for you. Let me do a back of the envelope calculation. Materials, labor, licensing and copyright. There. Oh boy. Oh, I wouldn't trust her with clothing me. Hold up, did you actually measure her for this outfit? I didn't see any measuring tape. Darling, do I look like an amateur? I read her measurements by eye. And don't you ask, because they're no one's business but her own. I can cover 6,000 bits. Now stand back. Back, back. I'll enter the settings and get these machines spinning. You'll be broke to bespoke in nearly an hour. Must see that outfit. And there we are, my darling girl. I wish you a splendiferous evening. And if you don't mind my asking, have you any interest in modeling? What? Oh, no, ma'am. All them eyes staring at me? I couldn't. No way, no how. I get scared just thinking on it. I wish you weren't so shy, my Violet. You truly are beautiful. I hope your date sees that as clearly as I. Okay. Thank you. Nothing to say about Bersantium, Nyoka. I am surprised. I can fast travel in there. 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 The other wild of the island ball. Damn, there was a lot of German accent in there. Ah. Oh. Not today, Sam. The other island ball. Where's my journal? That's not where I need to go. Oh. She needs something else, doesn't she? Oh, can you talk to me? Oh, can you believe this outfit? It's so handsome, I'm almost afraid to touch it. Well, I guess that's everything then. After all this time, I can... I just have to actually do it now. Y you know, there's, there's a part Jun Lei's been looking for to fix up the air cyclers. They only carried them on big colony ships, like the Hope. Ah, oh, Pavati making everything, li every little thing perfect won't change your eyes, feelings. I know. For a while, it, it felt like everything I did was a little bit of help. And it meant I didn't have to ask her to be mine. Not yet. Not for real. Next time we dock with Groundbreaker, I'm doing it. I'll send June a message and ask her over. Oh, this is real scary, Captain. I'm grateful for all you've done. I'm pretty sure. What? I still need to talk to her? I swear. Next time we put in the groundbreaker, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna ask her over. Oh, I'm so nervous. Having trouble focusing on my work. Uh, you met that auto mechanical clanking around the ship yet? Oh, you mean Sam? He's just the sweetest, ain't he? A real charmer, my dad'd say. 
Oh, he's a cleaning automesh. What, just because he scrubs the floors means he can't be a pleasant fella too? You should try talking to him. You'll see. He's a hoot. Okay. Okay. Let's get this buddy going. Let's see if I can get them on a date before doing the crown breakup. Quest of killing the body dude. Mac, 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 Mac Reed. Mac, Mac Reed. Why does she have a fish in her hand? That's a fish, right? The hell is that? Oh, yeah, I need to take both of them anyways. Nioka is too good. I equipped her too strong. Definitely can rely on her to carry me. I want to do that mission, fighting that dude as late as possible. But I will also do that in this episode. Let's see first if I can get them on a date. Otherwise I need to kill the dude. Oh, damn it, sleep already? I've been just traveling around space and time. I don't have time to sleep. Oh no. Oh, I will have to find a bed. Damn it! Lizzo's purple berry punch. You want a punch? You got your punch right here. I could take a hotel room. I could just sleep in a bed without owning it. I'm trying that first. Oh, no. Wrong door. I don't know why I thought it's in here. Okay. This is Halcyon News. We inter. What can I do for you, Captain? Um, what? Frustrating. Everything down to the circuit boards is past warranty, so I have the pleasure of making life or death decisions on a shoestring budget. Plus, there's no time to train my successor or document fixes in a way that anyone outside the family would understand. Pavati could always help you shoulder the burden. Oh, gosh. I don't know. I'm really just a, a dab hand with a wrench. Nothing special. Not like a chief engineer. Don't sell yourself short. It doesn't take a seasoned pro to tinker on Groundbreaker. Just someone who knows how a ship ought to feel. We're always thirsting for help. If you could find your way around this labyrinth of ducks and panels, we could work something out. Aren't you a little young to be training a successor? You see any bite-sized Tennyson children running around? I didn't think so. The next captain won't have my heritage. I'll have to foster that talent from somewhere. It's only a question of when. I mean, you could always turn straight, right? And make children. Just an option. Back to other it's questions, so, I guess. Uh... You don't have a lot of faith in the board. You're right. I don't. The board is after two things. Bits and power. And they only get it by sticking their nose where it doesn't belong. Switch out the B for a T and that's what I'm after. <laughs> oh, no, I shouldn't talk to her. <laughs> that brings out the worst in me, apparently. <laughs> uh, Pavati. Why? Hey, Captain, you see those fine clothes Miss Jolliker made for me? I ain't never owned anything so fancy in my life. It cost quite a lot. I... Dating time? Nope. I guess I need to do the other quest first. Don't bite the sun. Damn it. Damn it. Oh. Oh. Who's the dude? Where's the dude? There. Damn it. It's time, I guess. I'm ready, I swear. I'm pretty sure there's a uh, sneak away in there. Not through here. 
through here somewhere, right? Oh, I'm just running around aimlessly again. Does happen. Can I? Huh. Thank you. Just a quick nap. I should feel fine. Right, Frighter Crewman? Yep. Oh, there's a better way to go down there than the main elevator. Oh. Well, for me. Let's just go down. Hope for the best. I'm back. I guess I'm over leveled for this place. What was that? Huh. Heard something. Near the smelling blood. Why was I so afraid of this place? Hmm. Well then. This was quite easy as hell. Maybe I wasn't just not allowed to talk to him. What kind of weapon is that? Get away experience. Worthless. Doesn't matter what it is. I definitely died here in the in one of my earlier let's plays, the first or the second, where I didn't play on Supernova. Maybe just killing him outright without caring is the cheat code thing to do. Just the thing to do. Huh. Cool. Cool. There's still someone alive. Oh. What a peaceful little robot. Damn. Damn, that was easy. You're trying to get us all? What do you think you're doing? Where did you come from? Just don't make any trouble for me, okay? Oh, I can't steal here. Damn. I saved her ass and she cares about that. I uh, haven't seen any new faces down here since I arrived. Not sure how long ago that was. McGred tends to incinerate anyone who comes by. You just attacked me for stealing something. McGred's dead. Ah, oh, that's too bad. I mean, he was a scary fucker, total pyromaniac, but... You know how it is. You meet a guy, get used to his quirks, and then blam. Oh, there's a name for it. There's a name for it. When you capture them. You actually fall in love or like the capturer. Damn, I can't remember. Oh, what brings you to back race? To the back race. June Lay sent me down Place. to collect the parts we need to fix the radiators. McRed got me all distracted sucking fumes and <laughs> talking about the cosmos. Sucking fumes and talking about the cosmos? He'd fit right in with Graham and his ilk. 
I can't tell if you brought friends or if I'm still seeing things, so maybe I ought to lay off the fumes and head back to work. Oh, I came to grab some radiator parts and Julian could use your help installing them. I'll get back to my post. See you topside, stranger. Yep, and see you, but I do not care if I steal something here. This all belongs to me now. Do you hear it? Nice. Okay, the mean lady is gone, otherwise I would kill her. Okay, I mean here is safer. Steal Betty, what? I mean here is safer ass and she complains to me immediately. You must be high. The hell will steal Betty. Cool. I'll take what I want, go. Cool. I'll take what I want. Damn, that staircase looks badass. Oh, get in there. Making tracks. I need to take a screenshot here. Holy hell. Why does that look so cool? That's the place where I'm gonna edit Pavati and Junlei's face over for the thumbnail. Oh, cook. Perfection. Perfection. Be right there. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. But that does look badass. I brew. And I take what I want. See, we're playing the long game here with Pavati and Shun Lai. At some point in time, they're gonna ask me to put <laughs> a kit in one of them to carry the ship. So that they have a spouse. That's the plan, right? Even though it's probably gonna be Shun Lai. That does sound realistic. I would say. The hell? There's some real cool light down there. A lot of red. I didn't even check where those are. Okay. Get handguns up to a hundred next. Awkward if there's somebody in here still. How full am I? Inventory wise. Okay. Why did I take that? I'm gonna be way down as soon as my drink ends. Okay, nice plants. Any second now, I'm gonna be overweight. Any second now. This place gives me the shivers. 
And there it is. There it is. Damn it. Do I have something heavy? What's that that heavy? That thing. Cool. Cool. Done. How much? Two, one, five, three. That's worth the least. Okay. That's good odd. Well, let's see. If you can. Like old Bess's outflow pipes. Ugh. Got the deading stuff going on. We can't get them to on a date. We go on face cam. It's getting dark in here anyways. And I'm looking extra bright because of that. Her. Her. This is Halcyon News. You've returned, and in one piece. Color me impressed. I've got the parts. Good work. I'll take those. I need you to head through the large door at the far end of engineering. Take the elevator down into the machinery shaft. There's a terminal in the back. Activate it when I call over the ship's PA. And bring weapons. There's a slight manticular infestation. Oh. The fine slight. More than a few. Less than a hive. Nothing you can't handle. We were salvaging parts from a ship. Turned out there were eggs inside. They got into the radiators, and here we are. Okay. I got your parts. Yeah. Okay. I'll make my way down. Don't worry, Miss Junlei. We'll be super gentle with the ship. You don't got a thing to worry about. I mean, aside from fires and such. I'm genuinely heartened to hear that. Thank you. Okay, we're now. This is the same elevator. No. Have you seen this man? Reward offered for information leading to the capture of noted terrorist Jimmy Wells. Report any sightings to your local board embassy. What the hell? Do I have to write quest on? It's the better question. No, I do not have to write quest on. Damn me! Oh. Well, it can't be the same elevator, right? Right, good. Would be weird. Somebody here with a name? Huh. Be seeing you, stranger. Keep your wits about you down there. I don't want to clean crispy food like this. We got Manticures. Slayer and Yoka with us. I almost said Queen. But she wouldn't like that if I called her that. Ah, oh, bad stock. There. Better. <gasps> uh, different face cam. Wait. Nope. There. 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 Perfect. Perfection. The controls are in the back of the machinery shaft area. Keep clear of the radiator. You don't I feel like... But I'd be mighty grateful if you did. I've got this I thing like... giant insects. If I explode something here, I'm screwed. Don't mess with us. Keep them quiet, Cap. Just read through that for quest related stuff. I'm pretty sure I'm not allowed to explode anything in here. That all looks very explosive. This reminds me to the look place. In that space. 
Oh, das ist ein Lüg. Ein sehr. Good news. Song tells me the security mechanicals booted up and killed a bunch of Mantis. Bad news. Diagnostic says their circuit boards are fused from the heat, so they're not too picky about who they kill next. Sneak fast if you can. Shoot back if you need to. I can always fix them later. Ah. Uh, sealed. Yeah. Are they actually coming? No. I didn't saw far. Cook. I didn't saw anything. He's friendly. I didn't hear a word you just said. Not surprising, I've been blasting robots. Sure. Now I'm full of stuff again. Damn it. Cool, cool, cool. I don't need a ladder. Oh, easy. Spy. We're looking at Pavati. You need to go on the date. Damn it. My boards are returning to green. What a weight that is off my shoulders. I don't normally tolerate outsiders mucking about in my station's guts, but you're all right. The temperature should be dropping as we speak. I'll see to it the crew knows who kept us all from boiling alive. If you've got time, I believe Edna has a comms issue that could use your attention. I've also authorized Doc and Furu to sell you our premium meds. Okay. Apparently nothing. Uh, Edna. That's not you. Seeing you, stranger. Suppose it's time to reevaluate. Temps are lowering across the station. Anyone outside is getting a free light show from the dropper place. That must be you then, huh? No? Groundbreaker may be a leaky piece of shit, oh. but she's our leak. You aiming to send a message? If so, we best do it now while we still got time. Why would we run out of time? You had it somewhere. Me? No. But our relaying capabilities? That's on the final countdown. We're going offline in three, two, one and a half. No. Wait, I've lost track of my weeks. Maybe it was 36 or, uh, sometime dire soon. Oh, those numbers are confusing me. They're beside the point. I just mean you got limited time before the equipment goes non-functional. You see? Our primary relay station's soon to be occluded by a gas giant. Happens every 40 years or thereabouts. The event's forecasted to last for months, during which we'll lose signal to the station. That'll put the whole system in a right dire situation. We've got backup auxiliary relays, but the one currently in orbital range went offline some months ago. We can't spare people for routine maintenance. <sighs> Sounds like it's time to get the auxiliary station back online. Yeah, I'm working on it. I finally got the chief to approve the budget for a diagnostic expedition. But allocating the personnel loss for sending a technical team to the relay station keeps getting denied by Junlei. Um, 
The chief. Oh, I could check out the relay. No need for official sign off in that case. I should say no, but why not? Maybe you can figure out why it's offline. I'll send you with an equipment manual. Hopefully we'll get lucky or I'll get my approval in time. Hope you don't mind if I borrow that manual when you're done with it, Captain. I could do with some leisure reading. Oh, and I'll need you to retrieve a copy of the relay's backup data. I gotta forward any messages from Earth stored in the memory. Better late than never, eh? Alright. What do mean? The relay stations orbit the edge of the Halcyon system, so they tend to receive the majority of any transmissions from Earth. I'm sure the station's got a stack of junk messages just waiting for me to sort through. I'm off. I don't want to ask more questions. I need to sell stuff. Here, why not? You look like someone. We should sure. trade. Oh, okay, that's also worthless. That's worthless. 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 Let's keep that. No alcohol, no raptodon meat, no cigarettes allowed here. And junk. Good. Good. Damn, there's one more thing I need to do on here. And then I need to make sure Pavati gets her date. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm not even allowed to take her with me on Groundbreaker. Happens in the off time. Yeah. What can Groundbreaker secure? Ah, uh, Chief Tennyson. Chief Junlei Tennyson. She runs the ship. Does a real. Her yeah, I just met her. Cool. Not. I really like to get back there. Yeah, I'm getting that, but this area is off limits. You did help fix the radiators. I know Commandant Sunita is grateful for that. Maybe if you cleared an open bounty, that'd be enough for a thank you tour. Oh, right. I need to give her that bounty first. How goes the hunt? I've been ruminating on it, and I decided if you ain't killed McRed yet, I want you to hurt him a little before you do. Oh, Nothing excessive, him. mind you, but the scoundrel deserves a light beating at least before he kicks off. It was a one shot kill. Good news, I killed Captain McRead. No, I did not. <laughs> I roughed him up before I did him in. I did him in. Hm. I believe I'm growing fond of you, bounty hunter. If you got the Mardettes' backs, the Mardettes have got yours. Here's the bounty payout. Nice work down there. With any luck, we can hire more sharp-eyed bounty hunters like you in the future. Or me. The what can you yeah, I'm getting that. You have done a lot for us, Captain. I'll talk to the Commandant about scheduling a thank you tour for you. Maybe check back in a few days. What? Oh, God. Come on, Lee. I've done a lot for you all. Why the wait? All right, I, I guess. In and out, though. Just try not to do any shady stuff. I'd like to keep my job. I'm gonna do all the shady stuff. Um, yeah. Any extra prisoners? Uh, well, why not? Sure. Sure. I've got all I need, right? Not gonna steal anything. I'm a good boy. I'm a good boy. I swear. Now Pavati needs to be ready. I need to talk to the vicar. Almost at 26. I need that upgrade. Perg upgrade. Okay, Pavati. You're ready, right? 
All right. She's on her way. Oh. How do I look? Good job. <laughs> you look terrific. Oh, my hands have finally stopped shaking. All right, all right. Deep breath. Here I go. And she's gone. Okay, I need to check up on them. Everybody in the room. Cool. Cool. And creep on Ellie in the meantime. <laughs> oh, that's, that's enough. Anyhow, so I told him, Dad, I'm a big girl now. I ain't need your help. I can do it on my lonesome. What did he say to that? Have at it then. And he handed me his favorite wrench, the one he used for the canner. He's probably half as tall as I was. He didn't scold you for talking back to him? Nah, he was never like that. I always thought it was funny when I get indignant about something. Then he'd watch me do whatever it was, make sure I didn't get hurt, but he'd never interfere. I learned a lot that way. I wish I could have met him. Anyone who helped shape you must have been a special person. That's awkward as hell. I feel like you're overdressed a little bit, Pavati. She didn't change at all. She didn't My even clean up. Often at loggerheads. He had notions of how the station should be run, and I had others. He was fond of saying, you think Groundbreaker pays for itself? Someone's got to cover the bills when I chafed against his deference to the board. Sounds like he was afraid of them. He was, and he was right to be. Didn't mean I had to like it. Okay, okay, Oops, okay. Pardon. Hello. I'm having the best time. Right, nice outfit. Me pretty. What about your mama? I, I don't mean to pry, you just hardly mention her, and I I've been wondering. She passed when I was small. Taught me how to change a fuse on her deathbed. Even sick, she was patient with me. She kept exhaustive journals of my childhood, my father said. Like she was A-B testing child rearing. Must be you got that exacting nature from her. Exacting is a kind way to put it. Inflexible, my father would have said. Bullheaded. Cold. We'll get the kitchen back to you soonish. Promise. Is there actually anything I need to do right here besides not listening? Oh. If you're cold, then I'm the void of space. Cold. That's the silliest thing I ever heard. I... Thank you. Yeah, I'm cold. And I'm really cold. Left up cold, right? Sorry, I wake you up for no reason. Yeah, you don't need to wake up right now. You can go Something back to sleep. Mind? Nah, sorry. Just messing with people. Okay, let's go outside the ship. Go back onto the ship. Talk to the preacher. Vicar. I'll lock up behind you. No, leave it open. Vicar. How do you glitch? Nice, nice little click, nice little audio click to destroy everybody's ears. Love when that happens. Vicar. Got it. His name is Reginald Cheney, and he joined a sublight salvage crew. Only he's not listed on the return manifest. Must have made landfall somewhere he wasn't supposed to. Ah, uh, yes. Here. There's a domicile on Monarch in Fallbrook. Rented to the same bit cart he used to buy his seat on the salvage ship. I should have guessed. What better place to lay low if you wish to avoid the authorities? You, sir, your next quest is gonna be my next part. Your loyalty quest in my next part. You hesitated there, Vicar. What are you telling me? What are you not telling me? Damn, that accent was with the stubbly, mumbly. Oh, it's nothing. I suppose I really didn't have much faith in actually finding him. Was a bit of a long shot, wasn't it? This all seems awfully convenient. I admit it was a bit of a long shot, but when you've spent as many hours as I have in contemplation of the universe's secrets, you sometimes get a sense for these things. 
Okay. Okay, sure. Let's have it your way. I don't even know what he has on him. Worthless stuff, pretty much. Yeah. Cool. Sure. Oh. Can I go back onto the ship now? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, she's still upstairs. She's still in her gear. Damn it, that's the problem of not having the hat on. He doesn't have a room here, right? He sleeps down there. I'll find her. Toilet! No, that would be awkward. I don't know that you should be listening to those cereals, Felix. They're gonna give you funny ideas about human mechanical relationships that I, I won't explain. Come to see Sam? That was sweet of you. Here, I was just leaving. Ah, we'll see you to see you. And also Felix is dead. Pavati, I'll make sure of that. Okay, Captain, she's gone. Ah, oh, did it go well? I'm near about vibrating. I'm so excited. So she got here, and the first thing she said was, Oh, you smell nice, like mock apples. And I was like, yeah, new soap. And then she just sort of touched my arm real gentle-like and called the cut of my outfit elegant. I couldn't hear the rest on account of my heart was beating so hard. Then I led her into the kitchen. I think she about cried when she saw the spread. She didn't dress up nicely for you, though. That's sweet. So you, you laid out the meal, brought June in, and started the music. She stood stock still and just said, Oh, real soft. Oh, and let me tell you, I was sweating. And then she blinked and said, Is that dustback casserole? I told her how we got Mr. Raymond to bake it for us, so it was double authentic. Made by a real live... Monar monarchian? Monarchist? Monarch person. Oh, I wasn't sure about the jar. I'm glad the end result was good. I sure was. Near best thing to homemade, June Lay said. When I brung out the sweetheart cakes, June, she got a little teary. Said she had a thing she needed to say. But I stopped her because I wanted to say it first. I never felt so bold, Captain. Ah, uh, smooth. One of us has got to be. We're both... June's so reserved and I'm so shy. I, I worried if I never said anything, nothing would ever get said, you know? I told her about how she made me feel. Bold like I acted. Strong. Smarter and kinder than I am on my lonesome. I listed all the things I liked about her. And then she pulled out a paper and read a speech. She she talked about the things she admired about me, like my cleverness and my humor and how it made her want to be more open. Oh, wait, she wrote a speech to declare her love. That's cute, actually. She was worried she wouldn't get the words out right, especially after that message about Isabel. It's sweet. Anyhow, when she wrapped up, I asked her to be my girlfriend. And Captain, she said yes! Perception. What about your disinterest in physical affection? We talked about it some. I told her I wasn't sure how it would work, how I've had a bad time of it in the past. She said we'll take it as it comes. Fix things together. Share meals. Talk. Maybe she could rub my shoulders when they're sore. I said I might like that. Um, <laughs> that's an uh, asshole thing to say, but it's cool. The important thing is no more random errands, right? Nope. You've been real patient, Captain. Thanks. So, if you don't mind, I'm just gonna head to my cabin and happy screaming to my pillow for like an hour. Wait, you have one? 
And you, sir, Dust how are you doing? Analysis. Two point five years. I've no clue what that means. I can't fire him. Who's gonna clean my ship? Where's my heart? Turn the heart back on. Damn it. I need to say stuff. Okay, I'm not level 26 yet. Damn me. Damn me. Yeah, this episode is pretty much over. Uh, anyways, not much to do here besides looking into my tinkering, maybe. Can I? No, I cannot. Damn you, expensive. Bleh. Yo, thanks for watching. Next episode, I guess, is the Vicar's turn to get his quest done. Peace out.